Hi and welcome to Temeco. In this video, we are beginning our journey into the interesting world of dynamics. But before we can really dive deep into it, we have to first understand some main concepts. During the next couple of videos, we are going to go through these concepts, after which we will be ready to handle the juicy part of dynamics. The first main concept that we must discuss about deals with center of gravity and center of mass. In order to study problems which are related to motion of particles and bodies influenced by external forces, it's necessary for us to understand this concept well. So what does center of gravity mean? Consider the following system, which consists of multiple particles that are fixed within the region of space. We can determine the center of gravity of the system by replacing the weights of the particles that can be idealized as parallel forces by a resultant weight at the defined point G. Therefore, the resultant weight can be written as follows. WR equals summation of WN, where WN is the weight of an individual particle and WR is the total weight of all the particles in the system. How do we find the location of the center of gravity then? The way we can solve that is by considering the sum of moments of the weights of all particles about the x, y, and z axis, which is also equal to the moment of the resultant weight about these axes. Thus, we could determine one coordinate point, g, by summing the moment about the corresponding axis. For instance, to solve the x-bar coordinate of g, we can sum moments about y-axis, which yields x-bar times w-r equals x1 tilde times w1 plus x2 tilde times w2, and so on, until x tilde n times wn. Then, after generalizing the formula, we can write it into the form, which we can use to obtain the x-bar coordinate of g. x-bar equals summation of x tilde times w divided by summation of w. For doing the same procedure for finding y-bar and z-bar coordinates of g, we can write the following equations for obtaining their coordinates as follows. Let's go through what these symbols stand for. x-bar, y-bar, and z-bar are the coordinates of the center of gravity g of the system of particles. Then x tilde, y tilde, and z tilde are the coordinates of each particle in the system, whereas summation of w is the resultant sum of all the weights of all the particles in the system. Some of you may ask, how about the center of mass? How can we determine that? Well, it's pretty simple if you assume that the acceleration due to gravity, g, for every particle is constant, which yields the weight of the particle to be w equals m times g. By substituting this into the equations that we just defined, the equations will be simplified into the following forms. As you can see, the location of the center of mass is coinciding with the center of gravity. In the field of dynamics, the center of mass is usually also utilized more because it becomes useful when we are doing calculations related to, for instance, linear and angular momentum of planetary bodies and rigid body dynamics. In case of a rigid body, determining center of gravity and center of mass gets a little bit more complicated, because a rigid body consists of an infinite number of particles. Thus, in order to solve the coordinates of the center of gravity and the center of mass, we need to perform integration throughout the entire volume of a body rather than use a discrete summation of the terms. Therefore, in the case of obtaining the center of gravity, the equations we defined earlier form into the following equations. x bar equals integration of x tilde times dw divided by integration of dw. y bar equals integration of y tilde times dw divided by integration of dw z bar equals integration of z tilde times dw divided by integration of dw, where dw is the differential weight of a body. Other symbols are preserved the same as in the previous equations. If we would like to solve the center of mass of a rigid body, we can simply replace the differential weight term with a differential mass in the defined coordinate equations. 
By this replacement, we can determine the body's center of mass. There you have it. Now you know how to determine the center of gravity and the center of mass of a system of particles as well as for a rigid body. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.